Well, hey guys, this is Jeff, and I think I'm missing a fruit. Let me explain. So uh, as I'm recording this, I'm getting ready to head out of town for a trip, and I, I ordered some sandals on Amazon that I was really hoping to get uh, before this trip. And just before I hit play, I quick check Amazon's site, and my sandals just left Minnesota. They didn't start anywhere close to Minnesota, but now they left some little town in Minnesota, and it means I am not gonna get these things before I got out of town. And I uh, predictably got kind of ticked. Like, I can't believe this happened, and what are they doing over there, and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I look over at, um, at Galatians in the Bible, and I see this list uh, that we call the fruit of the Spirit. And in it, Paul says, uh, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience. I go, oh man, I'm missing a fruit. Um, but it's kind of the world we live in, right? Like we want our stuff and we want it now. Like going to the mall was too much of a hassle to go get shoes. So Amazon came in and started shipping to them to, to people. Most of the time you get them in 24 hours now to get your stuff that you just clicked online to get. And cooking at home, well, that takes too much time. That's why people invented fast food and fast food now takes too much time. Now we just have to have someone bring it to us, right? Grubhub or Uber Eats is just gonna bring it to our door. And man, going to the movies, man, that takes forever. I could just Netflix it and just watch it from my own house. We live in a whole society that is built on getting you what you want and getting it now and not having to wait for any of it. It's not really a surprise that patience seems to be in short supply for not just me, but for lots of us. So what's the solution? How, how do we develop this uh, patience in our lives? I mean, Paul says this is supposed to be a kind of a fruit or evidence of the Holy Spirit being in us. Well, let me talk to you about another passage of the Bible that I think will help us out. It's found in Luke chapter 18, and it talks about the importance of praying persistently. Um, so Luke chapter 18, uh, starting in verse 1, it says, One day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. Sounds like a great guy. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly, saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. And the judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm gonna see that she gets justice because she's wearing me out with her constant requests. And then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even if he rendered a even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? And the obvious answer is, duh, yeah. And Jesus says, I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. You know, one of the things that I think can develop this fruit of patience in our lives is if we just learn the habit of slowing down and talking to God about the things that are making us anxious, the things that are making us worry, the things that we need, the things that we want. And the Bible says over and over and over again, God is always with us. He hears everything that we tell him. He cares deeply for us. He loves us. And he will give us what we need. Not always what we want, not always when we want it, but he will take care of our needs. That's a hard thing to do. I mean, it's hard for me to do. It's hard for me to remember to slow down and just bring my worries and my fears and my needs to God and to have faith uh, that he will take care of me. To have patience that waiting on God is a whole lot better and storming around and getting upset and, and ranting at others. So I'm hoping that helps me this week because I, I got to tell you, I'm not always really good at it. And I hope it helps you too. Bye-bye now.